What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another gameplay impressions video with Splattercat. Welcome on in. Today we're checking out Fidel Dungeon Rescue, which initially I wasn't super interested in until I heard other people talking about it and they said that it was like a mixture of Crypt of the Necro Dancer and also a little bit of Binding of Isaac inside of there. And then I was like, well, if that's the two games you're going to assign to this one, I'm actually intensely interested in checking it out. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. As far as I can tell from playing around here, uh, you are a little corgi dog, or I don't even know what, I'm going to say it's a corgi because corgis have those little butt things and they do that little sploot thing and it's adorable i want a corgi but i kind of feel like my dog will manhandle it i kind of feel bad like i don't want to like put a little like 40 pound dog in with my dog who is just an absolute psychopath when it comes to playing with other dogs he's just he's a meat mountain and he doesn't realize how big he is he just he doesn't understand <laughs> like he tried to play with my parents chihuahua and i was just like all right we gotta we gotta put an end to this he's gonna step on that thing and kill it because he weighs like 70 pounds and he's only like a year old I was like, good lord. Like, he wants to play with everything. He thinks everything is his friend. So anyways, uh, we can walk around. There's a treasure chest right here. That one had a potion and what looked like some kind of XP inside of it. Let's go down into the dungeon. Let's do this thing. So we got spiders over here. It also looks like we got sleepy ticky men over there. We've got to get 15 XP. So I can kill a spider. It looks like, oh, spiders hurt me. Okay. Well, then I just learned a new thing about life. Can I pick up what this is right here? Ooh, I got a coin. I got a golden coin. I got a golden coin. Uh, so if we wanted to get... So how could I... Let's see here. If I go like this... There's a health kit right there. And then how do I get that right there without getting myself killed? Oh, it gives me XP. Oh, you step on the side with the tail. Gotcha. So... Oh, okay. I see it now. Gotcha. We figured this out. And then you attack spiders from behind... Do you? I can't tell if I'm supposed to attack spiders from behind. Which direction do we attack spiders from? Obviously that side right there, but I can't cross back over without wasting my time here. I've got enough to go to the next part of the dungeon, so let's just go to the next part of the dungeon. I'm sure it'll be okay. We got our health back. We're surrounded by spiders, though. So hitting a spider from the side definitely takes HP away. I'm going to assume that that spike pit right there is a really bad idea and something that I don't want to do. I will... Grab that health kit right there. Get some XP on that side. What does this gnome thing do? What is that? It's probably not a good thing, right? I probably just did something bad. What does that lever do? Oh, it closes off the booby traps. However, I've trapped myself from being able to get to my objective now. Which means that if I want to do it, I'd have to go like this. That still traps me. I can't do that right there either. Hmm... Getting that lever is actually surprisingly difficult. I don't know what that crown is right there on that spider either. I wonder what that is. I'm going to go back to here. We're going to see what's up with this crown on the spider. Although that traps me so I can't get out either. Although there's a health kit up there. We could do that. But there's a spike pit. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Kind of an interesting little title. This is weirdly contemplative. Like, it's a bit like Snake, too. If you take, like, Snake and Crypt of the Necro Dancer, I've got a health potion. Which it appears as though I can use for one health. Can I unuse the health potion? Oh, I can. Cool. What if I go up like so? Because all I really needed was that one more health. So that I can cross the spike pit. Oh, no. The spike pit does two damage. Never mind. So I can actually reverse this thing. Oh, and you can race the ghost to the end of the level by retracing. Oh. Control to bark. A dead dog can't bark. All right, well, apparently dead dogs don't bark. Dead dogs tell no tales. They also wag no tails. Things to know about dogs. Uh, so we can get two damage off right there. So let's say that I go in like so. Hmm. I got to give this a look for a second. So if I go doing commentary in a game like this is a horrible idea. It's not going to work out. I can sort of zigzag my way around if I need to, but I think getting the King Spider gives us, like, bonus XP. So looking at these right here, I can get the spider right there. I can get the spider right there. If I zigzag, so if I go like this, that gets me to there. And then if I wanted to go a little bit further, man, who knew that spiders were such a threat to dogs? Who knew? Who knew? Spider threat, spider threat, much worse than getting your dog wet. I can't really do a whole lot more right here, but I need 7 XP to get to the next map. So if I go... I can't go up right there, but I can go like this. 
And let's say that I go bam and bam. We've got that right there. There's two spiders right there, but I can't really double back. I might be able to do something, so if I go to there and then I go down, I'm talking about going left right now. Do I have a mouse? I was going to show you what I was thinking, but I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, so if I go like this, and then I go down, that does completely and totally trap me, so I've actually done poorly with my leash right there. Let's say that I get that spider and that spider then. We get the health kit, we go spider, spider, everywhere, and not a spite to spud. Is that thing going to bite me if I sit there for too long? Oh, he is. He's totally going to bite me if I sit there for too long. Douchebag. All right. Well, I wonder if I carry over XP to the next map if I want to. I do, actually. You can carry over XP to the next map, so doing well actually behooves you. Like, you actually want to solve this puzzle pretty well. Uh, the screen real estate that you have right now, I know that you've probably noticed by this point that a lot of the screen is not used up by the actual game. It's because I think this game was actually going to be designed for phones or something. The original mode that it opens up in is shaped a little bit. It's shaped phone-like. It's shaped phone-like, which makes me think that perhaps that's what they were going for. I'm going to get those two spiders, then I'm going to get that coin. I'm going to get these two spiders. That med kit right there. Then I'll go spider, spider, coin. Ooh, that gave us a health potion. Good. And then I'll go spider... Up like so, around... Oh, but that won't let me go down the... Okay, so I can't... If I cross the stairs, I'm automatically ending the level, so I don't want to do that. If I go health potion, though, I can go bam, bam. I can't grab that over there, unfortunately, without getting myself into trouble. But I think I can loop back if I go around the edge. I'm not going to leave myself with a lot of real estate, though, if I try to do that. So if I go to, like, there, there... I think that's about as close to a really good clear as we're going to get... That was plus 14 XP going into the next map. That's not bad at all, which means we don't have to do anything to open up the gate over here. We've got a new enemy. I don't know how to deal with that enemy just yet. It's got flowers. I'm a little bit nervous about playing around with it. So it looks like we step on the little fronds, possibly. Maybe if we step on both the fronds, it kills it. That seems like a pretty good assumption. I don't know if it's a right assumption, but it seems like an okay assumption. But I don't see any way I'm going to go all the way around that thing and still get the objectives that I want. Like, I want that coin, and I have to forego that coin in order to, yeah, get this stuff over here. Well, there's some XP. That's cool. I could go straight for the objective right now. That worked. I'll take that. That seems all right. We'll go over to here. He'll be downed. I'll more than likely, if I go left, I can get the coin. Go up, cut right, get that, then cut back down. But I think that's not... I have a health potion, though. Haha. -ha. So I'll go like this, then. We'll use the health potion. Ooh, triple XP. I'm assuming that's a really good thing. But that's about the extent of what I can kill on this map without getting myself into further trouble. So we banked 13. Inside of here, it looks like we've got some kind of alien thing going on so the ones with teeth maybe they hurt me there's ones with teeth and there's ones that just kind of look lopsided oh no they still hurt me what about those ones those ones still hurt me too okay everything wants to hurt me that's just the nature of my life I guess I suppose I'll go like that oh shit he just shot lasers up okay oof Something tells me this is about to get a bit more interesting then. I need to save one HP if I'm going to get to that health kit over there. I wonder if there's like a proper way to kill these. Like maybe having to do with their facing. No, facing doesn't appear to matter. You still lose health. Oh, I needed to save one HP so I could get up to like here. Grab that. We're on nine HP right now. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. This is a rough one. Got that. It looks like we slide, we slide on puddles, interestingly enough. Maybe? I don't know. It felt like I teleported forward right there. I need more XP if I'm going to make this work. But I've basically created a spiral is what I'm looking at right now. It looks like you have to do kind of a spiral pattern inwards towards the stairs. 
but I think there was a way that I could get more of the slimes. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back and never do that again. Ah, they got me. Shit. Uh, that is a booby trap right there. That sucks. I don't like booby traps. I like this game, actually. This is really sticking with me. This is addictive. This is really addictive. Like, this is one of those games that I could see you killing a huge amount of time on just sitting around. Because it's got the logic puzzle aspect to it, which I think is going to attract a lot of players. So he's worth 3 XP. Let's keep ourselves a little wide then. If I can go in like so and get you, that'll get me unlocked over here. Probably could have gone to the right just as easily as I, just as easily as I went to the left. I can attack him like that, but I don't get the XP that I want if I do it that way. So instead... What does a bomb do? I have a bomb right now in my inventory. The bomb. Oh, it blows up whatever's adjacent to it, but oh, it also kills your inventory. Okay, wow, we stacked 29 XP right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like the, the bleed over XP that you're using is most important when you're trying to get to bosses. Because the bosses, it looks like you can take an easy mode way through if you have a lot of XP banked. But if you don't, then you've got to do it like the right way. And that's going to be the way that takes a lot of deduction and a lot of figuring out. So for right here... In general, the feeling that I'm getting is that for most of the maps, you want to take like a spiral pattern in one direction, just like you do with Snake. Uh, I don't have the HP to do that. Mind you, I do really want that right there. Maybe if I skip the spider right there, that still doesn't help me. So then I come back like so. No, that's not going to work either. Huh. Huh. This is a game that really requires some thought, and unfortunately, while I'm doing commentary, it's just not possible to do. What a cute little dog, though. So let's say that I get you two. That still gives me a problem, like a problem that is not easily solved. Because I can't go up and get those spiders and then grab the med kit to go get the other stuff. What if I go downwards instead? Let's flip the script a little bit. Let's take lemons and make some lemonade here. And then I come back this way. There we go. I think that gives me a much better trajectory. I like our current situation a little bit better. If I get you, step up to here, grab a coin. Get you, coin. And then to right there. That's not a terrible clear. I'm okay with it. Like, there's still a lot of spider- Oh, the ghost is showing up. Apparently, we've got a limited amount of time to get this done. I didn't realize that. I can go- Ooh, that's a waste of a med kit if I go over there, though. And the loop back down to the bottom isn't going to work real well, either. Alright, well, let's get rid of you. You're not worth any XP, unfortunately. What's the difference with the red spiders? So I got you, come back around like so, got that, got that right there, ooh, that was clean. I mean, I didn't get a lot of the spiders in the bottom left hand corner, which I would have liked to, but oh, it doesn't carry over the boss, it's 15 either way. Okay. I don't really want to trap myself with regards to what we can do here. Interesting. The layout is tough. So we go down, we get the two slimes at the bottom, but I'll trap myself with my leash if I try to go left and get the med kit. So that means I've got to go down like this, grab that. Yeah, grab that. Maybe go like so, possibly. He's going to shoot a death ray. We grab this kit right here. We use our health potion right there. We are a little bit wounded, though. Hmm. I'm about to get that one right there. Because he's going to shoot the laser so the timing doesn't match up. And then to get to another health kit right there. Oh, I've cut myself into a corner again. I've trapped myself in a corner. I don't think this path is going to work. Not being able to double back across your leash is really rough. 
That's a tough one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't get to the other med kit. Uh, we can reverse this real fast and we can undo what we did and take a look at it. I'm going to need that med kit right there. I just don't know how to get it without trapping myself in the corner. I also need, you need to use every single med kit essentially, otherwise it's going to be trouble. Why is there TP stuck to the wall? I guess aliens got to wipe their asses too. Ah shit, here comes the ghost. So that right there gets me to there. Then I take you, I take you, I get that. He shoots the laser. We go to there. We grab that kit. I still need seven, though, and I've got a maximum of four I can clear out. Yeah, I don't know on this one. That's a tough one. I think maybe I've got to stockpile my potions or something in order to get through there for level five. Maybe get some bombs or some potions or something. Basically, I think I need consumables to get through there, or there's some way of getting XP more than one XP off of those that I haven't figured out yet. Hmm. Yay. I like smushing spiders. Is It's fun. There we go. Get that bonus XP before we go in. Game's being generous to me right now. I think on this one, we'll go for the double XP spider right there. Since we know now that the XP does not carry over when you do some of this stuff, I think I'd like, we'll go like that. So we got that triple right there. Then we'll go down like so. Okay, that looks good to me. From there, we're a little bit low on HP, so we're gonna wanna do something here to fix that up. But I don't know if we really have the access to it. I think I'm not stocking up on my consumables is how I'm messing up. I think I need to be a little bit more stingy about my consumables. Instead of using them to solve short-term problems, I need to save them to solve long-term problems. Potions, bombs, stuff like that. I think I need to save. Let's go in. We got spikes over there, so that's not going to work out. So we don't want to play around with... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. I love the way you get undoes, though. That makes me really happy. Undoes are awesome. We'll go ahead and do that right there. That takes us over to here. We'll turn on that. Maybe. I think I'm going to loop back around. Oh, there's no med kit over here, so... Let's say I go there. I kill you. That gives me a potion. But I'm going to run into problems in the top left-hand corner. Like so. Because um, that's going to put me at a weak point. Whereas, I might be able to forestall this and go this way. But I'll have to use a health potion to do that. Hmm. Yeah. I have no idea what this little dude in the middle does. It looks like you got to catch him. And maybe he drops... Did he drop that coin or was that coin always there? So it looks like you gotta catch his ass. And that's how that plays out. You wake him up and you gotta catch him. Interesting. I wonder what you get if you catch him. Probably a bunch of coins or something. Eh, we'll just go to the next level. This one will be a little bit tougher, but we'll be okay. So if I wanted to do this, it looks like we go up. We get rid of you. We go down. Nope, that's going to require me to use a health potion. I'm trying to save that so we can try and win the strategy. I'm trying to play the long game right now. What if I go like this? That looks pretty good. I mean, we're not going to get maximum kills or whatever. And we did just waste a med kit, but it did give us XP, which was something that we sorely needed going in. We didn't end up getting the bomb, which was the one that I was really looking forward to. I was hoping we would have the bomb by the time we got out of here. 
the bomb. And either way, just based on health distribution. Okay, so we ducked that right there. Got the health kit. Yikes. So when I take the health kit, what can I do here? I either trap myself away from the stairs. Oh no, I wanted that. Ew. I don't like our plan at all right now. This is not working. This is just not working at all. Hmm. Come on, Fidel. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I'll trap myself if I go for the top med kit first, and I'll waste the left med kit if I go after that first. Hmm. Either way, I'm just not seeing it. Because it wants 15 out of us. But without... Can I hit him? Can I do anything with the guy in the center? I can't do anything with the guy in the center. Okay. That's what I wanted to check on. I think I've got to get rapid combos. That's the only way I'm going to make up the XP is by doing that three-hit combo thing that it wants me to do. Yeah, I got to get the triple XP, I think. I got to do, like, the good combos if I want to make that work. But that way I don't think functions very well. So let's say I go down, down. Oh, nope, I messed up. That was my bad. Uh, yeah, let's go like... Ah, shit. Damn it. I just can't beat that level. I just can't... I, I think I've got it. we got to do the triple combo counter. If we don't do the triple combo counter, uh, we're going to struggle with that one a lot. And so I think that's... you got to get the triple rapid hit. Otherwise, you end up with a little bit of an issue. What's up with these dudes right here? Oh, they just die as long as they're asleep, huh? Okay. Well, that is good to know. Good to know indeed. We'll get that triple combo right there. Ah, oh, it was a killer chest. Shit. Ah, no! Oh, I can bark by Fred. Yay! I can do an adorable little dog bark. Oh, wow, he did damage. So if you step on any monsters around him, it wakes him up. Okay, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Gotcha. So you want to step on them first is essentially the strategy there. There we go. Triple up on that XP. Very nice. Ooh, that was a treasure chest, though. Good. Okay. I will take you. We will loop back right here, I think. Got you. Oh, nope. That wasn't what I wanted. I messed up. Uh, yeah, let's just go down the hole real fast. We got plus 22 banked right there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, there's probably a right way to do this, and I'm just not seeing it. So that gave me health back right there, so I kind of need this. If I go up to right there, what can I do with all this? I can get a coin, which is pretty good. But I'll have to use a health potion to get through that spider line right there. Okay, well, I'll get that spider right there and we'll just keep going. I've got a bomb this time around, so I'm curious to see what happens if I can play around with some of the other little things the game has going on. I'm going to go like that. I kind of feel like looping on this one. Oh, but the exit's right there. Okay. If I go like that, that seems to be somewhat workable. But I can't get that box right there without... Okay. That's fine. So here's our guy right here. I'm thinking the bomb is going to be the key strategy to this one. I don't even know what the adrenaline does. Maybe it allows me to move twice or something. I'm, I'm a little bit scared about using it because I know what the bomb does. Like, let's say that I trigger the bomb right there. Oh, you have to kill 15 of them. It's not even XP-based. Jesus. What did the syringe do for me? I don't understand what the syringe did. 
What does the syringe even do? I'm not sure what the syringe accomplished. I don't even know what that did. What did the syringe do? Oh, it doesn't give it back to me. What? It's a one-time use thing only? It gave it back to me before. Huh, I wonder what the syringe does. Well, now we're just up shit creek. I don't see any way we're walking out of this one. Like, I'm sure there's some way to do this, but I'm not seeing it. I'm probably missing out on something super obvious, too. I tend to be kind of dumb when I play games like this. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for us. I could play this a little bit differently up here, but since I came in high... I have to come... Okay. So maybe if I come back around... Still not going to be able to come around on these dudes. Yeah, and that traps me in right there, too. I don't see the solution to this one. I am doing this super dumbly. But you got to be able to get all 15 of them, and there's got to be a strategy that works. I just, I think it's supplementary items. you got to be able to blow stuff up with bombs, maybe in one spot. And since we couldn't use our item right there, eh. Uh, if you liked this game, check it out down below. i got a link for you. I think this game is pretty cool. As soon as I beat this level, I'm going to feel a lot better about myself. Right now, I'm really starting to kind of doubt my intelligence. But anyways, uh, my point here is to show off games that I think were pretty awesome. And I had a lot of fun here today. If you wanted to get it, it's down below in the link. Aside from that, make sure you check me out on Twitch TV slash Gaming, where I stream every day at 3 p.m. And I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.